All right, we Just are in. digging in. Tanker Knights, here we come. I like this stage. I do too. Reminds me of Metal Man and his uh, stage with all the gears in the background. Yes. I I like it because it has a it, it has a semi steampunk kind of feel to it because of all the gears and all the uh, brown. Yeah, I'm um I'm actually a big fan of the color scheme of um, yellow, brown, and blue. That is a nice one. No, 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 no. Look, more, more exploding rats. We know how much you love those. Yeah, yeah, and here's these little magician guys, wizard dudes that, that shoot stuff. That, the, the one particular to this stage, shoots gears at you. Yes. Because that makes sense. Oh, God! Alright, um... I could have just used my face lock it out what I'm doing. Normally, you, like, throw that thing out like it's nothing. I throw it in a circle. All right. Oh, 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 bouncy time. Yeah, just to make sure. <laughs> I've got a hundred magic, so it's like, why not use every little bit of it? Just, just throw it out there. Crap, crap. Crap, got it. Okay. Okay, I'm worrying over nothing. Oh, yeah, you little fake. Oh, man. Um, and do the fishy fishy. <laughs> they don't like that. You know what movie that was? Yeah, Deuce Bigelow. I remember that. Uh, Rob Schneider. I love Rob Schneider. A lot of people, I'm sure, don't. He's been in a lot screw of things. Screw those I people, found. you know? He was in a decent bit of films that I found entertaining. The Animal was great. Yeah. Deuce Bigelow 1 was great. I this feel like I like the second one, but I don't remember it. Was, it. it was okay. Um, did I see something crazy? Oh, it's what? It's not here? I thought it was right here. Look at you trying to show off. I thought there was a secret down there. You were wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You gonna like hit him or? It's so hard! Oh my god, that guy right in his bee hole. Ah, you can't use relics on here. It's freaking pain in the ass. I absolutely hate this guy. The placement of this enemy is incredibly, uh. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was frustrating me, and I wasn't even the one playing. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I may be able to... Yes. Alright, I was about to use a potion, but... I like these guys. They're all cool. They're predictable. Crap. Oh, man. How did that get <clears throat> um, So we, it is now in the morning. We're yes, trying something we a little rest, different. We're rested. This is the first time we're recording it in, you know, daylight, actually. We normally do all of our recording in the evening time after the sun has gone Betty by. We're gonna try this out a little different. And I just had me a nice bowl of Reese's Puffs to start my day off. Peanut butter, chocolate, great wind, separate. When they come together, make them on top, at pick, on top, at pick, on top, at pick. <laughs> so, that being said, I don't feel like there's a lot I can add to that other than question of the day, what is your favorite breakfast? Oh, yeah. Or breakfast cereal. Yeah, it could be a cereal. Do both. Do both. Breakfast cereal or Do you like cereal? Do you like uh, oatmeal? And that's your cereal of choice because it's a hot cereal. Yeah. And or do you porridge? Like... You know, I mean, I guess some people are still in that. I don't even know what porridge is. It's I don't know. Like... I'm guessing it, it it's something kind of like oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <clears throat> and of course, don't, don't forget know. your your meat and your eggs. How do you like your eggs? Oh man, yeah. You like it's... poached. Do you like, like uh, scrambled white gravy? Over easy, medium, or over well? I prefer over well, actually. I don't like a runny yolk that often. Oh, dude, I love them, man. Now. They call them dip eggs. When I. You dip your stuff in. Now, whenever I make eggs in a basket, <coughs> I'll leave the yolks runny, because that piece of bread, I cut out the middle of it. I'll use that and dip it, that uh, piece of bread into the runny yolk, and that's pretty tasty. I don't, I don't dip it whenever I do that. I just. Um, 
It's I just Jester. eat it, you know? This is actually my least, probably one of my least favorite items just because I don't get how to use it. Yeah, you only like use it's, it. It's, you know, it's a thing, but it's like, what? You know? It's like, wh what's happening right now? I don't know. I'm probably an absolute idiot. Yeah, it's probably a, a no. genius way to use it, but uh, I don't know. I figured it out. <clears throat> and of course, bake. I just, I just, I don't get it. And I really just want to kind of try to phase lock it out of here. Jacob really likes to phase lock it. If you couldn't figure that one out. I mean, it's just that gear. I think you're supposed to be able to ride it and jump with it. But yeah. I'm not sure enough, and I really don't feel like dying again. There we go. Yeah, and you're getting There's low wrong again. There's nothing with the phase locking. I know. No, not at all. I just almost feel like you're stubbornly holding on to it as opposed to trying to embrace something maybe a little different. Yeah, it's so versatile and delicious. Yes. Are we still talking about food? Um, I was talking about relics in this game. Oh! I tried. I thought you had that. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. See, if I would've used it, I would've died. You died anyway. No, if I would've, uh... I would have used it and not got hit by the missile. I would, I could have dodged that whole scenario. That's cool. Just get back there and get your money back. Guaranteed. Money back guarantee for people who are good. Okay. The Medusa heads over here. Yeah, I know, right? They're still not as uh, still not as horrendous of a trial as the Medusa head, though. I will say that much. Look at all this platforming you gotta do. Yeah, see. See, get good. I am good. Look at that. Purposefully taking damage. Look at that. That was good. Look at that. Bam. Everybody talks crap about it. Not everybody. I'm talking about you. I'm not. I'm just saying. You you got one trick, man. So? I'm winning. Are you a one trick pony? Are you riding the white pony, son? Oh, that movie. Alright, so I think. I think that's how you're supposed to use it. Yeah, you ride it over spikes. Ride the white pony. <laughs> just, just because I didn't want to jump and get the spikes, you know? You don't make the gear jump. What it does is it jumps when it reaches a ledge. No, I mean, I, I, I just seen that. But, I mean, you know. Thank you for elaborating just in case somebody wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I wasn't trying to insult your intelligence. No, I mean. <laughs> or your gaming capabilities. I was just saying, I figured that would be a handy piece of information to throw out there. Um, I'll use the flame wand. Flame wand is good. That's a, uh, almost a straight Zelda item. Yeah, there's a fire rod in Zelda. I haven't seen it in a while. It was in Hyrule Warriors. That's true. Look at these guys. They're like right on top of each other doing the exact same thing. You want them gold. You want that gold. Yes. Yeah, I like those guys. They're kind of easy. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of your... They're like the main enemy that gets a color swap in every level, along with these guys. There we go. I also... Oh, more chicken. I also love the Flame Wand's efficiency with uh, magic. Yeah, it's only four. So that's always good. It's four. I don't know if there's anything behind that jewel. Mm, I do believe there is. You know what they say. You've embarked on an epic quest. That means you have to explore every nook and cranny. Oh, no. You've explored most of the nooks, but there's still a lot of crannies left for you to go into. Cranny. Fitchy, fitchy. Yoo-hoo! Speak some of the oil. 
Alright. Okay, uh, Wesley, what, what time are we at? We are at 10 minutes and 10 seconds. Awesome. We're making pretty good time. Ah, here we go. See? There's the thing. I told you about the thing. See? Who's the one trick pony now? This is very reminiscent of Wily's Castle from Mega Man 2. Because oh, yeah. I remember there was, um... I mean, this may be a stretch, <clears throat> but I mean, I remember that there was a, uh... A platform going around, and there was the part where they spawned enemies from everywhere. He just did not defend himself. I believe this was the... That's... That... Yes, that okay. I'm just double checking. Yeah. And now he's respawning. Oh, now he's trying to fight back. Oh, he did. <clears throat> but, but anyway, there was this... Then there was, uh... These... They didn't say he was trying hard. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> there was the, uh... The thing spawning from everywhere, and you could just abuse uh, Metal Blade and... Oh yeah, I remember that. You would just abuse Metal Blade to get, like, free, like... To win the game. To get, like, extra life and ex extra, um... Weapon energy, I guess is what you call it. Essentially, but, um, they were actually very good for that particular part. Mainly because it, it really did a good job of protecting you. Here's a thing for that one scoop. Um, shovel. Yeah. Where well, it does really good. <laughs> one of those instances where you're just glad you have it. Alright, <clears throat> I think you've made it. I think this is the end. This so before the end. you do that, get your uh, your free chicken, just in case. Get your free wall chicken. Alright. Oh man, this, this boss fight is pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. It is. I like it with this little uh, his, peg pegboard and all of his things. His tools. And of course, he's got his nice welder's helmet. Ooh, big words, Tin Man. Ooh, little man. <clears throat> With a wrench. Ah, throw my wrench at you. Ah, boomer wrench. Go. I want a boomer wrench. That's not, hey, that, that could be my next game. Boomer wrench? <laughs> no. Think about it. Who throws a boomer wrench? PlayStation exclusive. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Yes. You gotta remember, I've actually never played those games. I always watched you play them. That was yeah. always your series. Yeah, I know. Man, uh -huh. I remember watching you play them thinking that those games were Okay, incredible. so actually, the phase lock it is a legitimate strategy against this guy. Is oh, it? by the way. <laughs> there's you know, a part two. There, there's this. But, um... This big hulking this. wooden mech. And you can jump on these bad boys. If you have to if jump you don't, on If you don't them. suck. And you can just go boing, boing, phase lock it, boing, boing, phase lock it, boing, boing. Ah, I missed. I missed. <laughs> but I'm yet. Oh, now he's throwing balls at you. Won't that be fun? No. Alright, alright, alright. Oh man. So, you know, pretty uh cool boss fight, right? The first time this happened I was like Eee hey Pretty excited. Finished him off with a slice. Off with your head! What? And I actually think that'll be a good level. That was a very good level. With oh. only one death and you recovered from it with grace and poise. <clears throat> yes. You stuck the landing. And all other terminology like that. Yay. <clears throat> 14 grand, almost. 17 short. I guess you can just start buying everything. Yeah, the stuff I can you don't go back need, and... Just... Big spender. Got nothing else to do. Yep. <laughs> so Why not? So bored I write checks. Alright, um... I'll just go back and do this. And then um, we'll call it a day. No, I think we can go ahead and end the episode. Okay. We'll just pick up from there whenever we get back. Yeah. All right, then, guys. You heard it from the man himself. We will be we'll back. We'll be back, we'll, but we'll be at the airship. So, see you. See you guys later.